first off, I received a thank uh, a congratulations card from Governor Palin last week myself. Oh. So I, my wife and I had just had a child, uh, our very first, uh, as a matter of fact. I, I remember, actually. I was on that day <laughs> you, that you had to, that you went into labor and you had to go get her. I had to rush away, absolutely. <laughs> well, we received, received a great card in the mail from the governor's office that also had an immunization uh, record, one of those yellow, little yellow books, and uh-huh. uh, a, a, mag, uh, a sticker for the refrigerator for immunizations for uh, an infant, for a child. So, wow. What brings a nice boy like you to a show like this? Well, because I think maybe where you need to go next with what you were talking to Linda about this last hour is to invite Sarah Palin to uh, sign a statement, uh, a release of her medical records, so that we can have your next guest be Kathy Baldwin Johnson, who was the doctor who delivered her most recent child, and ask Kathy, if she thinks that Governor Palin put Trig at risk by her conduct during the last, uh, who knows how long of her pregnancy, but certainly the last few days. Well, if nothing by, else, by if nothing else the last eight hours of sitting on an airplane. Well, I mean, a lot longer than that. Yeah, yeah. No you know, she shouldn't have gone down there in the first place. I know that, that Kathy put my, my wife on bed rest a month before she delivered for less severe problems than Palin was encountering. Actually, I'd like to be able to bring on Paul from the Alaskans for Peace and Justice. Paul, welcome to the Madness. You're sitting here. You're sitting here right now with Phil Munger and Mike Method. Oh, what an honor, Mr. Munger! It's hey, really wonderful to talk with you. I haven't talked with you for such a long time. Yeah, I'm always so pleased to hear everything that you have to say. There's so many issues, the uh, things that are going on in Gaza. But I'd like to get back to the issue that I have not heard a whole uh, great deal about is, uh, first of all, Real my issues? wife works uh, in the neonatal center at a hospital, and she also taught Lamaz. I was very concerned and felt that the uh, governor should have been held accountable for her actions with Trigg when uh, she was carrying him. You know that uh, it was not a r- responsible thing to do to be so active with a high risk child, and then, as far as I know, uh, she uh, her water broke before she even yeah. got on the plane. But but Paul, but Paul, isn't that just indicative of a thought process? Oh no, it isn't at all. It's it's just, I mean it. You know, a, a prosecutor wouldn't look at it that way had this come to court for some reason or another. Absolutely. It is, you know, it may be something that you could explain away uh, about a thought process of being so willing to exploit her children and uh, uh, not uh, do not care the way she should, but th- that was extremely dangerous for a high-risk birth to do that. And nobody has ever really held her accountable for it. Yeah, I, 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 I concur with you, Paul. I mean, you, you saw a few snippets um, when she did give birth, and which was a complete shock to the, I think, uh, the entire state. And I will say the entire state because there were very close, dear Republican uh, GOP uh Legislators and power brokers in the state that didn't know she was pregnant. So, uh, you know, I think that. It, I, it I slipped... think that the, if the airlines would have known that her water broke before she got on, they wouldn't have been allowed to let her travel. Oh, I, 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 having having been uh, flown, well, I call way too much. I.e., uh, last four years I've done just shy of seven hundred thousand air miles uh, on business. Um, I've seen people taking off flights for less. Yeah, you yeah, know, it's, I, I, I've seen people taking off flights because they were inebriated. I've seen people taking off flights not allowed to board because the, the you know, they weren't feeling good. Uh, you know, it's it, but to let to let someone on like that, and I've sat next to pregnant women, and I, I, with that kind of like sideways look of, oh, don't let it be this flight. <laughs> The only the only place I ever want ever want diverted is when I'm flying from Asia back to Anchorage and I have to go down through Seattle. I'd love a diversion into Anchorage. 
Well, 